Indian woman has her first child at age 70. After she and her husband, 75, produce a baby boy through IVF, she becomes one of the world's oldest new mothers. According to Javan bin Rabari, who is 70 years old, the boy is her first child. Despite claiming not to have any identification to support her claim, she told reporters she was 70. In the Indian state of Gujarat, Rabari and her husband, Maldari, are natives of the village of Mora. Although initially dubious, doctors now praise it as one of the rarest occurrences they've seen. Two years ago, an Indian woman who was 74 gave birth to twin girls. One of the oldest first-time mothers in the world, an Indian woman, claims to have given birth to her first kid at the age of 70. Javan bin Rabari and her 75-year-old husband, Maldari, proudly displayed their kid, whose name they have not yet disclosed, to media and said that he was born through IVF. Rabari said she lacked identification to establish her age, but she informed reporters she was 70, making her one of the world's oldest first mothers. However, after giving birth to twin girls in September 2019 at the age of 74, another Indian woman, Aramati Manjiyama, is thought to be the oldest. In Gujarat, India, a little town called Mora, Rabari and Maldari have been married for 45 years and have been trying to conceive for many years without success. IVF, which is successful after menopause, helped them conceive a child. It was one of the rarest situations I've ever seen, according to the couple's doctor, Narash Bunashali. When they originally came to us, we informed them that they couldn't have a kid at such an advanced age, but they insisted, according to Dr. Bunashali. They claimed that several of their relatives also engaged in it. This is among the rarest cases I've ever encountered. Given that the majority of women go through the menopause in their late 40s and early 50s, the likelihood of a woman in her 70s becoming pregnant naturally is almost non-existent. However, the American Society of Reproductive Medicine, ASRM, asserts that any woman, regardless of age, can conceive through medical intervention as long as she has a normal uterus, even if she's no longer in possession of ovaries. Medical professionals take an egg supplied by a much younger lady and they use a man's sperm to fertilize it outside the body. The embryo will eventually be inserted into the woman's womb in an effort to make her pregnant. In India, IVF has been used to successfully conceive children in a number of cases involving women in their 60s and 70s. After giving birth to twins through IVF at the age of 74, Manjigama is thought to be the oldest lady in the world to have given birth. On September 5, 2019, Manjiyama gave birth to twin girls in a medical miracle after undergoing IVF procedures using a donor egg and her husband's sperm. The Andhra Pradesh retiree admitted that her 55-year-old neighbor's pregnancy served as her inspiration to try for a child. After 57 years of marriage without children, she and her husband, Sitarama Raja Rao, who was 82 at the time, welcomed the babies and dubbed themselves the happiest couple on earth. At the moment, Manjiyama remarked, I cannot put my feelings into words. These infants make me whole. It's finally over after a six-decade wait. No one refers to me as infertile any longer. Dr. S. Uma Shankar assisted Manjiyama in giving delivery today at the Ahalya IVF clinic. When the patient approached him in November of last year, Dr. Uma Shankar said it came as a surprise, but he said he also saw it as a challenge. It's thought that the Ahala IVF Center in Gunter City paid for the majority of the surgery because doctors knew the results would be historic. Manjiyama had her first IVF round in January 2019 and became pregnant. Throughout her pregnancy, she was detained in the hospital where 10 doctors maintained track of her health. By eight years, the birth beat the previous record of the oldest first mother. Maria del Carmen Busada de Lara, who was 66 years and 358 days old when she gave birth to twin boys, named Christian and Pau, in December 2006, was recognized as the oldest mother in the world by Guinness World Records. How is a woman in her 70s able to give birth? Naturally becoming pregnant in your 70s has almost no possibility. This is due to the fact that the vast majority of women experience menopause between the ages of 40 and 50. Without IVF, the majority of women over 45 are unable to become pregnant, and the older they are, the more challenging it is. 
However, the American Society of Reproductive Medicine ASRM, asserts that any woman, regardless of age, can conceive through medical intervention as long as she has a normal uterus, even if she's no longer in possession of ovaries. For women over 44, let alone those in their 70s, the success rate is only 1 in 50. Medical professionals take an egg supplied by a much younger lady and they use a man's sperm to fertilize it outside the body. The embryo will eventually be inserted into the woman's womb in an effort to make her pregnant. The majority of clinics in the West have age restrictions in place. Therefore, senior women are rarely admitted for the surgery. Typically, only women up to the age of 42 are eligible for treatment through the NHS. They do this for both their own and their unborn child's health. Senior women are more prone to experience serious long-term effects like high blood pressure and diabetes as well as life-threatening problems. A genetic condition or mental health issues such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, or autism are more likely to arise in babies born to older moms. Additionally, they're more prone to have premature births, which can be fatal. However, there have been several cases of women in their 60s and 70s giving birth in India via in vitro fertilization. The Oldest Parents in the World Aramati Manjiyama, who's 74 years old, underwent IVF therapy and gave birth to twin girls in September 2019. The Andhra Pradesh retiree admitted that her 55-year-old neighbor's pregnancy served as her inspiration to try for a child. After 57 years of marriage without children, she and her husband, Sitarama Raja Rao, who was 82 at the time, welcomed the babies and dubbed themselves the happiest couple on earth. After the twins were delivered, Rao suffered a heart attack and passed away. At the age of 72, Dalyinder Kaur gave birth to her first child in April 2016 following IVF. When 46 years of marriage, Dalyinder gave birth to her first child after her husband, Mohinder Singh Gill, age 80, agreed to undergo IVF after multiple failed efforts to conceive their own kid. At birth, son Armin Singh weighed only 3 pounds 9 ounces. Maria del Carmen Basada de Lara became well-known around the world after she gave birth to twins in December 2006 at the age of 66 and 358 days. The former shop clerk, who was single, was criticized by her own family for choosing to become pregnant at such a late age and was called selfish and reckless. She admitted misrepresenting her age to obtain fertility therapy at a luxury Los Angeles clinic, for which she reportedly spent 30,000 pounds. When Maria left Barcelona, she underwent a cesarean section to give birth to her sons. She asserted that she was feeling better than ever and anticipated that she would see her children grow up and one day she'd become a grandma. As she had longevity in her family, she told reporters at the time that she thought she'd lived past 100. However, she passed away in July 2009 after being diagnosed with cancer a year after giving birth. Elizabeth Adney, a 66-year-old woman from the UK who underwent IVF, gave birth to a son in May 2009. Edney had to travel to Ukraine for her IVF procedure, since UK hospitals won't treat patients who are above 50. The instance reopened the discussion over postmenopausal parenthood, which has become more common thanks to advances in science. Twenty years prior to giving birth, Edney underwent fertility treatments, but at the time, doctors advised her that she should stop trying to get pregnant. She underwent a cesarean section in May 2009 to give birth to her son, who weighed 5 pounds, 3 ounces. How does IVF work? In vitro fertilization, known as IVF, is a medical procedure in which a woman has an already fertilized egg inserted into her womb to become pregnant. It's used when couples are unable to conceive naturally and a sperm and egg are removed from their bodies and combined in a laboratory before the embryo is inserted into the woman. Once the embryo is in the womb, the pregnancy should continue as normal. The procedure can be done using eggs and sperm from a couple or those from donors. Guidelines from the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence NICE, recommends that IVF should be offered on the NHS to women under 43 who have been trying to conceive through unprotected sex for two years. People can also pay for IVF privately, which costs an average of £3,348 for a single cycle, according to figures published in January 2018 and there is no guarantee of success. The NHS says success rates for women under 35 are about 29%, with the chance of a successful cycle reducing as they age. 
About 8 million babies are thought to have been born due to IVF since the first ever case. British woman Louise Brown was born in 1978. Chances of Success The success rate of IVF depends on the age of the woman undergoing treatment as well as the cause of the infertility, if it's known. Younger women are more likely to have a successful pregnancy. IVF isn't usually recommended for women over the age of 42 because the chances of a successful pregnancy are thought to be too low. Between 2014 and 2016, the percentage of IVF treatments that resulted in a live birth was 29% for women under 35, 23% for women age 35 to 37, 15% for women age 38 to 39, 9% for women aged 40 to 42, 3% for women aged 43 to 44, and 2% for women aged over 44.